almost too beautiful to be real. I guess everything's gonna seem like that from now on. Joe, it's so lovely. It's got to be the prettiest engagement ring anybody ever had. Well, I brought it straight from Abilene. If it was twice as big, Kate, it couldn't say how I feel about you. Huh? Reckon I better be going. I haven't seen Pa yet. He's expecting me right about now. First trip as trail boss. Oh, you must feel proud. I got a good price for the herd. $20,000. Oh. Not bad, considering grass was short. Kate, I don't like seeing you stay here alone nights. Why don't you ride over home with me? Joe, I've been alone since Pa died. This is my home. It's the only one I've got. Well, that's gonna change. We'll be having our own home for long. Mm-hmm. See you tomorrow. See you, Kate. $20,000, that's better than I figured. And a great big diamond. Here, man, take it. I don't want it. It's his. No, no, there'll be questions asked. And this is going to be one of the answers. You'll be grieving for poor Joe. You, you're going to go after him? That's my plan. Len, don't do it. I, I can't go through with it. I'm not fool enough to pass up a chance like this. But I've got to see you. I, I can't be away from you weeks, like you said. If they see us together, they'll, they'll get ideas. Now you do just like I told you. went by before the murdered boy's father hired me to investigate the case. The local marshal had exhausted every lead. The murder was still unsolved. Hey, tell me, Marshal. Didn't his girl know the date he was due back? Kate Heaney? Joe was gonna marry her. What else do you know about her? Oh, nice girl. Never been in any trouble. Joe's death hit her hard. She's been alone since her pa died. You know, he'd like to have a talk with that girl. Howdy, Kate. 
Howdy, Marshal. Kate, this is Mr. Slade. Mr. Slade, Kate Heaney. How do you do, Kate? How do you do? I'm uh, working for Mr. Keith. I'm a detective. He uh, wants to ask you a few questions about Joe. Have they found out anything? No, not yet, but we're still working on it. I told everything to Marshal Barry. It'll help find whoever killed Joe. I'll be glad to answer anything I can. Tell me, Miss Heaney, how do you uh, manage to run this ranch all by yourself? I do what I can. Joe and his father used to help me after my pa died. And some of the other neighbors help out, too. Now, Miss Heaney, I want you to listen very carefully to what I want to ask you. Did you mention to anyone the day that Joe was due back? No. Are you sure? Well, if it's possible, I don't remember doing it. Did Joe say anything about any of the trail hands? Like any one of them being unusually interested in the money? No. How did he act the night he stopped by? He was happy. He home, see me. He rode in, we talked for about half an hour. He planned to be married soon. And he said he was going to ride on home. He left. And I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to. We understand, Kate. We're sorry we had to bother you. It's just that we don't have much to go on. Thank you very much, Miss Heaney. Pretty good shot to spot a moving target at night. You know, I can't help but feel sorry for that girl. First her pa died, and now Joe. Yeah. I'm probably wrong, Marshal. I just can't explain it. But I've got a hunch that girl didn't mean a word she said. Well, I've never been one to tromp on a hunch. Well, we'll stow it for now, Marshal. I had a hunch the South was going to win the war once. never to come here. Oh, it's been a month. You couldn't stay away. Oh, look, there's a detective in town. You're trying to get us both caught? Talk to him. I got you just like you said. It's going to be all right now. It's all over. Uh, They're going to give up. Don't be a fool. They're still watching and waiting. I told you it might be months before we could see each other. I need you. I need you. All right, darling. Look, why don't you go back to your place now? Where's the ring? I 
didn't want to wear it, Les. I mean you didn't want to wear it. I told you to wear it. Did you have it on when the detective was there? Yeah. Did you? It was his. I never wanted to wear it. I want yours. Have you worn it any time since that night? It's all right, Len. I, I put it away safe. And no one ever know. I never told them they gave it to me. The dumb, stupid... I, well, I thought this thing through. I planned it. I planned it all right. That stupid mind of yours, all that stupid brain of yours had to do was remember what I said. Well, Len, Len it isn't that bad. N nobody will know. I can't oh, shut up! I've got to figure what to do. I've got to figure what to do. If they tie this thing up to you, it'll be my hide. You stupid fool! Len, Len I, I don't like to hear you talking like that. I never wanted to get tied up this thing in the first place. I did it for you. You did it for the same reason I did, $20,000. I did it because I loved you. I, I, I don't think you cared about anything but the money. You, you, you didn't... Oh, no, no, I, I didn't mean that. No, I, I, I didn't mean that. Man, man, man. Detectives that work years on a case, they don't give up. I'm not going to get caught. I don't plan to hang. You get away from here. I don't want to see you around. What are you talking about? Well, I thought it would just be a few months before it was safe for us to be seen, but no, it's going to take years. First time they see us together, they're going to, they're going to start thinking. Well, we could go away together now. Oh, that's great. Then they'll really know. But we love each other. Look, I'm not going to put a rope around my neck just to see you. I'm going to give you your half of the money. I, I don't want the money. Look, from now on, we're going to forget that we ever saw each other. Now, you get away from me. No! No, I'm not leaving! Now, you take me away with you anywhere. Please, Len, please! No. Len, stop! If you don't take me away with you, I'll tell him everything! You what? That's all I want, Len. To be with you. I mean it. I'll tell that detective. If we don't go away together... You're not going to tell anybody anything. No. No. No, I'm not. That wire I sent, that didn't take long. No. Marshal up in Abilene is a friend of mine. He wired me right back. Hot coffee? No, thanks. You better read this. Joe bought an engagement ring. Right. And he stopped by to see Kate. That ring must have been burning a hole in his pocket all the way back from Abilene. But she didn't mention a ring. And she wasn't wearing one either, Marshal. Maybe that hunch of yours was right. Let's get out and have another talk with that young lady. could have got to. We'll just wait around until she gets back. Let's get in the shade. That's Kate's horse. Whoa. 
tied up. Must have broken away. We can backtrack him. Well, it sure is tough following a trail in this. We're not going to be able to go much further. Look, Marshal. Here's something. Looks like small wheel tracks. That'd be a wheelchair. A wheelchair? Yeah, old Pike Sterling. He doesn't live too far from here. What would he be doing way up here in a wheelchair? <laughs> Where do you meet him? You know he's liable to go anywhere in that chair of his. somebody out from town to pick her up. Those wheelchair tracks were fresh. Which way is Pike Sterling's place from here? I'll show you. You better run, Lenny. Run? I figured you was just worthless like your maul, but you rotted. Clear through. You're a killer. Now you better run. You followed me? You done me proud. Strangled a woman. Shut up. I got nothing to worry about. Even if they find her, they'll think it was an accident. If I run, they'll know it was me. I ain't lying for you, Lenny. I seen what I seen. But you're my son. I owe you something. Get away. Now. You wouldn't tell the law on me. I would. Get out. All right, old man, I'll go. But I got money to take with me. I don't have to live like a pig anymore, like you. Now, now, you just leave it right where it is. You like being a killer, son? Wondering when they're gonna get you? You're gonna talk to him. I ain't left the place all day, and just remember, this gun is right in your back. Pull up right there. State your business. What's the matter, Pike? You got the sun in your eyes? Marshal. You think I'm blind? I know you're the marshal. This is a friendly visit. You're on my land. State your business. This is a friend of mine, Mr. Slade. We found Kate Heaney's body back up in the canyon. We want to talk to you. Stay where you are. Got nothing to say. Ain't seen nobody around. Me and the boy ain't left the place all day. We saw some of your wheelchair tracks up in the canyon nearby, Pike. Huh. I got wheelchair tracks over half the county. I ain't been up there today. Mind if we take a look at the guns you own? You got a warrant? You want to look at anything, you come back with a warrant. I know the law. Pike, I'm getting tired of this nonsense. Now, warrant or no warrant, I'm getting down off of this horse and have a look around. No, Marshal. Pike's right. We'll come back when we got a warrant. We'll be back, Pike. Thanks, old man. Run, Lenny. Get away. Shut up. I'm staying. They'll be coming back. And when they do, I'm going to tell him. You're just begging for me to kid you. Go ahead and shoot. They'll hang you for murdering me. You've got no choice, Lenny. Run. 
Get out! I'll get my money. What'd you make us leave for? That boy stood behind that wheelchair the whole time we were there. Never moved a muscle. So? I think he was holding a gun on the old man. I think he's the man we're looking for. It could be. Let's slip back there. Quiet. dollars here. More money than you've ever seen in your life. And you was the one killed Joe Keith. That's right. It was easy. Just as easy as I'm going to clear out of here. Nobody's going to catch me. I brung you into the world. I should have took you out of it. Hold it, Len. Now just drop your gun, ease it out of the holster. Marshal! I don't want to have to shoot you. Drop it. Don't try to talk now, boy. If you can hear me, just nod. Uh, I, I can hear you. You killed Joe, didn't you? How about Kate? She in it with you? Stupid. Stupid. to Sam Keith's ranch, told him what had happened. I don't know whether it made it easier for him knowing why his son had died. I hope it did. <laughs> 